Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I am going to discuss with you five important basic formulas in Microsoft Excel. These formulas are commonly used and everyone should know. So stay tuned and watch till the end. So these are the five formulas, the sum formula, sum if formula, count if formula, average if and the minimax formula. Let's jump into the sum formula first. I created a sample data. This is a sales data for the east, west, north and the south region. If I want to sum up the values in columns, so I'll use the sum formula. Sum formula start with is equal to SUM. On the first number you can see sum formula, press tab. And now I need to select the range. Click on the first cell and drag till the end. And then close off bracket, press enter. Now it's giving me the sum of all the values within this cell. If I want to have the sum of all the values for the other columns as well. So what I will do, I will simply drag from its bottom. I will drag for the other columns. And now you can see it's giving me the sum of the all the columns as well. So this is a sum formula. I'm deleting these figures for the time being. The shortcut key for sum formula is Alt is equal to. If I press Alt is equal to, it's showing me it selected the whole range itself. And if I press Enter, so it's giving me the same sum value which I got from the formula. So if I want to copy this formula, just drag from the bottom. And now you can see it's giving me the total. So again, I'm deleting these values. Another way to sum the values is select the whole range. And in home tab, there is an auto sum function on the right side. If I, if I click on this, very first function is sum function. Click on this. You can see at the bottom, it's giving me the sum of all the values within these columns. So this is the way you can sum up the values for the columns. If you want to add a value in rows, how can you do this? Apply this sum formula, sum, press tab. And now I will select the row, click on the first cell in row and then drag till the end, close of bracket, press enter. So it's giving me the sum of the row. If I want to have the sum for the rest of the row, I just drag from the bottom. And now you can see it's giving me the total. So on this side, I wrote on the formula, very simple is equal to sum, start of bracket and range. So this is the sum formula. Let's jump onto the next formula. Next formula is sum if formula. Sum if formula is a bit advanced form of sum formula. It's sum of the values based on the criteria, based on the condition which we give. In this scenario, in this example, there's a shop column, product column, and the sale column. If I want to add up the specific shop column, for example, if I want to add up the ST12 shop column, if I want to have the revenue of the ST12 shop, so I'll use the sum if formula. How can I use the sum if formula? It start with is equal to SUMIF, the first formula, press tab. The very first thing is range. What is the range in which the formula will look? So in this example, I want the formula look the in shop column and if you find the st12 shop it add up the value in the sale column so the, my range is in this shop column click on first cell click on first cell and drag till the end press comma next thing is criteria what is my criteria the formula will look in this range my criteria is this st12 this cell if i click on this so it will call its reference now I'll press F4 to fix it, press comma, last thing is sum range, okay the formula will look this criteria in this range, so now what, what's the next, what do you want from the formula, I want my formula sum up the value in this column based on this criteria, my formula look into SD12 shop and then sum up the values against the SD12 shop, so my sum range is this column. Now close off bracket, press enter. Now you can see how this formula work. For the formula will look this criteria in this range, and now it will go to the sale column and add up the value against this SD12 shop. 
So the formula is sum if startup bracket range, comma, criteria, comma, and the sum range. So this was the sum if formula. Let's move on to the next formula. Next formula is count if formula. It counts the value based on the criteria. In this example, there's a student result from the different branches. Students are passed and they failed. If I want to have the count of the students who pass in their exams, so I will use the count if formula. Count if formula start with is equal to C O U N T I F. The first number, there's a count if formula, press tab. And now it's asking me the range. For example, I want to have the count of the past student in this first column in branch one. I will select this range. And then what is the criteria? First press comma. And next thing is criteria. What, the, what is the criteria? The formula will look in this range. My criteria is this cell, which is pass. If I click on this cell and then press four, F4, it will fix for me. Close off bracket and press enter. So it's, saying, it's showing me the result of five. Five students have passed in their exam in branch one. You can see one, two, three, four, and five. If I want to have the count of past students in the other branches as well, I will simply drag from the bottom. And now you can see I have the count of all past students. If I change my criteria here, if I change it to fail, press enter. Now you can see the count has been changed. So the formula will look this new criteria and see and give me the count. This formula is, is equal to count if start of bracket cell range and criteria. Define the range, define the criteria and you are good to go. Let's move on to the next formula. Next formula is average if formula. It averages the value based on the criteria. In this scenario, for example, if I want to, if I want to average the revenue in Manchester Marquis, I want to have the average value of the Manchester Marquis. So I will use the average if formula. So average if formula starts with is equal to A V E R A G E. I F on the first you can see average if press tab first thing is range what is the range in which the formula will look the criteria my range column is this marquee's column click on this first cell and drag till the end then press comma next thing is criteria so what is the criteria the formula will look in this range my criteria is this cell that is Manchester criteria can be a cell reference or uh, itself a word as well so it's better to have a cell reference again press f4 to fix it now comma last thing is every range okay the formula will look the criteria this criteria in this range now what do you want from the formula i want from the formula go to this revenue column and average the value in revenue column so my average range is this one it will average the value based on my criteria. It will look the marquee. It will look the Manchester marquee and go into the revenue column in front of the Manchester marquee and average the value. It will average all the revenue which are in front of the Manchester marquee. So press enter. So it's giving me 4218. 4218 is the average revenue of Manchester marquee. I wrote down the formula average if start of bracket range criteria and average range. So this is how it works. The last formula is minimax formula. If I want to find the minimum or the maximum value in given data, how can I do this? The formula is, is equal to min on the first press tab. Now I need to select the range. Click on first cell and drag till the end. Close up bracket, press enter. So it's giving me the minimum value in this January column. So if I want to have minimum value for rest of the column, just drag from the bottom. You can see the minimum value. Next thing is the maximum value. Maximum value, the formula start with equal to max. Press tab. Again, select the range. Close off bracket. Press enter. This is the maximum value in January column. So just drag from the bottom for the other column. So these are the maximum volume value for the other columns as well. Just deleting it for the time being. Another way to find this, select the whole range. In the home tab, under the auto sum option, there is a 
fourth number option max option five number minimum option if i click on max option so it will give me the maximum value under each column so you can see six two nine six four six so i'm deleting for the time being again select the range if i want to have the minimum value quickly go to the auto sum there's a minimum option second last option click on this we have the minimum option Formula, min, start of bracket, range, maximum, start of bracket, and range. So these are the five formulas, very important formula. Hit the like button if you like this video and must leave your comments if this video is helpful. Make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks and more useful formulas. So I'll see you guys in the next video.